this video, we're going to talk about how you should approach skipping and marking questions for the ACT science test. The approach we describe here is pretty much the same one that we recommend for the ACT reading test. For the ACT science test, here are several principles for skipping and marking questions. First, be ready and willing to skip questions within a passage. In fact, skipping questions is oftentimes even better than dwelling on a question until you answer for two reasons. Reason one, you'll be able to continue thinking about the question while you work on the next questions, and two, there's a good chance that you can find the answer to the question while you work on the next questions. So again, think of skipping questions as a very good thing. Second, although we recommend freely skipping questions within a passage, make sure you answer every question for a passage before moving on to the next passage. Third, if you skip a question, circle the number in your test booklet. Fourth, for questions that you answer but aren't entirely sure about your answer, circle the number of the question and write a question mark next to it to easily distinguish these questions from ones that you skip. Fifth, unlike for the English and math tests, you'll just circle the numbers of questions instead of writing them on the first page of the test because the test isn't just one long test. Each section is a self-contained unit. The key to managing time well for the ACT science test is having a plan and a system ready before you take the test, which we've just outlined for you. Following these strategies will help you get a better score on the ACT science test because they will help you make the most of the very limited time that you have for the test, which is especially important for the ACT science test.